Hi, uh, my name is Erin Card, and I am one of the co-chairs of uh, Costume Con 42 here in Aurora, Colorado. And I'm the other co-chair, Beverly Warner, and we brought Costume Con to Aurora after a few years away. It's been 11 years since it was last year in Colorado, and we're like, you know what? This needs to, this needs to happen again. It's time to be back. Uh, Costume Con is an event, is an international convention that travels, yes. primarily through North America, but also other locations, and is so is in a different city every year, hosted by a different organization or chapter of the International Costumers Guild. And last year, for example, it was in San Jose, and the year before it was in Maryland, and next year uh, it will be in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So, and every year also the um, the costume cons have different kind of themes to them. So this year we are celebrating uh, Costume Con's 42nd uh, anniversary, if you will. And uh, if you're at all familiar with uh, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, you know how important the uh, number 42 is. Which in... Uh Douglas Adams' world yes. in, in his work is the answer to life, the universe, and everything. The, the ultimate answer. The ultimate answer the ultimate to answer life, the life, universe, and everything. Life. And we think that you can find that at Costume Con 42 Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. So our theme, with it being surrounded by that, you know, Douglas Adams' work being kind of this comedic, sci-fi, fantasy, you know, kind of wacky and zany, we wanted to include that as part of our, um, as part of our theme and just have that influencing our background, so you know, space and fantasy, sci-fi, fandoms of all kinds being welcome, you know, even within and without the theme, just stuff that's super fun. Yeah. So our official theme this year was the Heart of Gold, which is the uh, um, the name of the spaceship that uh, the galactic president travels in in the uh, the, the novel. And the uh, Heart of Gold is actually powered by the infinite improbability drive. So anything can happen. It's chaos. You can things you become plaid or sofas or chest whales. You can become whales. You know, lots of petunias. Lots of things can happen with that infinite improbability drive. And with costuming, there's an infinite number of ways to do things and an infinite number of improbabilities. Really. In order to put this event together, we are part of a, um, an organization called Shiny Garden, yes. which is a nonprofit that intends to create inclusive spaces for fandoms to spend their time. So we create and share events like this one, as well as some of our other events that yep. we hold regularly in the Denver area. We do. We have um, two events that we hold annually. Um, we have Hexacon, which is a board gaming convention that is held in January every year. And we also have uh, WhimsyCon, which is a steampunk and fantasy event generally, um, but really anything's welcome there. Um, this year, though, um, instead of WhimsyCon, we decided to put a shiny hat, a, uh, a golden hat, on our WhimsyCon event and bring CostumeCon here. But in order to kind of bring in a lot of that shiny uh, uh, WhimsyCon crowd, we have um, uh, brought in a lot of the elements for our from our whimsy cons, such as an art show, and we have a cabaret performances, game rooms, uh, all these type of things. If you're interested in becoming involved in, in an event like this in, or in an organization like ours, well, first of all, you can visit the Shiny Garden website and actually um, apply to be a volunteer at any of our events. Volunteers do all kinds of jobs from taking care of uh, our vendors in our dealer's room to taking care of our art show to helping organize our masquerades to 
uh, security to uh, the people in our con suite who are making sure that all of our volunteers get the chance to eat. So if you have a skill that you like to share, we have a place to put it. You know, we need organization. We need, uh, sometimes it's, we need people who can lift and carry things. Yes. Um, and sometimes we need people who are organizing. So we have all of these roles. If you have a skill, we have a place for it. Yes. Um, and getting involved is as easy as contacting us, often filling out a volunteer form so that we can contact you and put you in a place that is going to utilize your skills to the best abilities. Yeah. So you can contact us for any of our events. You can contact us at uh, um, volunteers at shiningarden.org, and that will get you in touch with our general volunteer coordinator, and uh, that will help you get involved with our uh, organization as far as um, events go or even the uh, overarching uh, Shining Garden organization. If you're interested in getting organized with the um, wider event of Costume Con itself. Costume Con has, um, each one has its own individual website, so you would look for the number for that. Yes. Um, but also we do have an archive that holds all of the data, photos and videos and um, you know, all of the winners all the of events, information. Yep. all the historical information, and often they will be able to kind of pass you on. So there's, yep. you know, you're able to get involved. It'll, costume con that happens anywhere whether it's milwaukee coming up or we'll be in san diego again or wherever it's at so costume con naturally as the name suggests focused around costumes um, and so this event, yeah, involves that, but we have something for everybody, whether you are a gamer and you like to do tabletop, whether you are a crafter, we have competitions that encompass quilting, doll making, in our case, for our special, uh, for our special event and our theme, we have towels, which is an overarching theme in, in Douglas Adams' work. Um, we are... We value the skills of making and creation, and our entire intent is to bring those people together so we can share this knowledge, share this wisdom, share the inspiration that comes along with making these things for ourselves, for others, and getting to share those things with the world. Uh, the hardest part... The hardest part about organizing an event like this is honestly there's just so many moving parts with this. You know, we've got several competitions. We have to manage hundreds of uh, attendees. You know, dozens of staff, mm -hmm. and you know, and uh, you know, dozens more than of just uh, assistants and volunteers and all that type of stuff. So just trying to figure out and making sure that. All those moving parts are internally moving well, as well as well. <laughs> um, are moving smoothly as well, so that um, you know we can make sure that everyone is happy and um, uh, happy, safe, happy, happy, included. safe, and included in uh, in the organizing of the event. So, yeah. it's if you can imagine putting on. Um, a stage show, a play or a musical mm -hmm. for four days straight. It's four days straight. really similar to that, yep. you know, we're, as well as yep. feeding all of those people and making sure all of those people have a place to stay in our hotel. Yes. Uh, so yeah, logistics is maybe the most difficult part because we're yep. just working with so many places and so many spaces and so many yep. people. But that does bring us, I feel like, to the best part of it, which is spending time in this community. Yes. We have a community that cares so deeply about each other and so deeply about our work that we we come together and put this on for each other. That's one of the really unique, I think, facets of Costume Con in particular, is it's an event that we create together and we enjoy together. You know, it's a little bit like a, you know, like a nice dinner. It takes a lot and a lot and a lot of planning. It does. But you have this party and it's over kind of shortly. Yeah. But, but it's you great. make incredible memories. I for one, you know, have seen folks here that I've known for decades and getting the chance to spend time with them doing the thing that we love to do is, you know, that's that's just who gets to do that, you know? Yeah. It's the fact that we get to do that and put it together. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. And just also being able, you know, 
all the uh, the attendees coming together and them enjoying themselves. You know, I, I I get feedback off of people. So when you know we're all excited and doing all the projects and uh, you know people are bustling out in the hall, I'm like, all right, let's do this. We're great. We're doing great. And yeah. that's energy that I love and that makes it worth it. Thank you for being here. We don't have this environment to enjoy and all of these beautiful costumes to see without our attendees. Absolutely. And so we want everyone to come. Everyone who is here wants everyone else to come. <laughs> and we just, it's great fun and a wonderful place to be. What she said. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Um, we look forward to seeing you guys at future Shining Guardian events, future costume cons. Um, and if you guys, you know. If you're interested in costuming, if, if you're interested in fandom, if you're interested in volunteering yes. in any way, get a hold of in us. We interested want you. in creativity. That's what, that's what costume cons all about. So. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>